Hello folks, we've got a bit of sunshine out here now. It's time to get my hands dirty. Right, let's just show you what I've been doing today. I've not had much time today, but I've just thought I'd get some uh, seeds on the go and also try and get some um, vegetables planted out uh, in here. And let me also show you, since the last video I've done in the poly tunnel, just show you how things have grown on in that short time. Let's have a look. Well, we haven't got any activity from the potatoes, I'm afraid, but I don't know whether you can see, but that actual rosemary bush is, is actually grown. Uh, big style and also the mint has started to really sprout out as well the mixed salad is finally finding its way back to the surface again as is the uh, mixed herbs I don't know if you can see them there the shoots are just starting to come through there there's that um, raspberry bush which is again sprouting even bigger than it was before and also the rhubarb is uh, starting to take off now and this is only in a very short time but uh, as I say what I've actually done now I've got some basil on the go I've transferred my tomato seedlings which were basically in a propagator tray on the windowsill out to some bigger pots now these are uh, gardeners delight tomatoes so I'm hoping for good things from them and looking over here what I'm planning to do is just to plant out some um, vegetables which can be planted apparently directly into the pots according to their instructions so basically what, what I intend to do to um, utilize these big pots it's basically to grow carrots in that one broccoli in that one uh, spring onions in that one and beetroot in the last one I've, I've never done this before as I say I'm just gonna sort of wing it all, I, all I've got to go by is the instructions on here and apparently when you sow these outdoors you sow them where they're going to actually grow so seeing as they're going to be growing in these pots initially that's what I'm going to do now I might run out of compost, so I've only got one big bag here plus the compost I've got there. So I can only go as far as I can go at the end of the day, so um, I'm going to make a start on this now. be enough in there so according to these these are the ones that um, all these ones I'm planting here are the ones that uh, Chris gave me Scottish prepper so it says so between March and uh, July outdoors so where there are, are to crop 1.5 centimeters half inch deep directly into finely prepared soil well that is pretty fine I know that if you've got lumps in uh, the, the, the earth but that's why carrots come out all different shapes or whatever so I think a lot of people actually grow them in sand when they're actually going to grow them for shows and all that so they actually do go straight down but you, I, I could have sieved the soil but I haven't got a sieve so again it's having to make do this is my first attempt so I'm just going with it so basically that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to plonk them in randomly a half inch deep normally you do these in rows I suppose but um, I haven't got any rows in here so Again, all new to me. I suppose I could um, just cover this up with a fine uh, coating of soil on top of it. And I suppose you could actually thin them out a bit once they start growing, I think. I I'm not sure. So You're probably looking at me, those of you who are gardeners, saying I'm probably doing this wrong, but I'm going to give it a go. It's what I've got to work with, you see. I presume every one of these seeds is basically a carrot. So if I've got to thin them out afterwards and transplant some of them into another pot, well then that's what I'll do, so... I'm not going to use all them seeds. Right, so I'll just sprinkle some soil on the top of that. I don't know if you just saw what barn has just got in. Come on out of the way. Again, I'm going to get all big bits out of there. Don't need them in there. 
just spread that about a bit. That's a nice covering on that now. So technically speaking, I'm hoping that that is the carrot sown. It says here, seedlings usually appear within 14 to 21 days. Thin by harvesting young carrots evenly from the row, allowing the remainder to grow on. Water well until plants are established. Regular sowings may be made every three weeks will ensure a continuous supply of young roots. So that's it. Well, I'm just going to carry on now. I'm going to continue doing the planting in exactly the same way what you've seen here for the remainders, for the broccoli, for the uh, beetroots and also for the spring onions. Right, there we go. I'm well pleased with that. At least I've actually got some stuff in here now and hopefully it will start to root and... Get out! He's just trying to grab the tomatoes. How about that? See what I mean? If you don't watch him, if, he, if they just had a few run through here, he would uh, he would chew all this stuff up. So, do it. Come here. Come here. Sit down. Barney, look. You don't touch this stuff. Okay? None of this. Come here. Look, over there. Look. None of it. You don't touch any of it, alright? Look. You don't touch any of this stuff in here. Okay? Look. You don't touch it, Barney. I've just caught you with your head in the tomato seedlings. That's very naughty. Okay? We don't do that, do we? So I can't leave you in here on your own, can I? Oi. Can I? I don't know. What are we going to do with you? Eh? You're a naughty little tyke. Aren't you? Come here. I don't know. I don't know. Never mind. I'll be watching you all the time and so will everybody else on YouTube keeping an eye on you. So yeah, everything that I've planted already is taking off and growing in here. I'm just hoping that these lot do the same. So as I said to you, these was all from uh, Chris, Scottish Prepper. And let's just see if I don't mess these up. I've also been planting some seedlings that can't go outdoors yet. Let's just show you them, by the way. Now, I've tried some sweet corn uh, in there. Well, I, f I forget what these are. I think these are peppers in there. Sharon done them ones in there. And as you can see, just looking in there, look, little seedlings are just starting to come through there. So, uh, we're happy with that. There was some more tomatoes, I think, which Sharon planted. Um, I forget what are these. Oh, this is what I've done today. We've just got some uh, cabbage there. So that's under the propagators and also some cauliflowers, which you can probably see there. So, And at the back there, in little pots, we've got cucumbers. So, you know, that's what I've done so far. I've only been at it a couple of hours, so I'm well pleased with it. You might have known that I actually went to the auction and won three lawnmowers online. I showed you that online. So I've actually picked them up now. So this is the Hater lawnmower, as you can see there. I have brought that one. Everything's complete, it's all there. I've not even tried to run it yet, so not too sure. That's the one I paid 21 or 22 pounds for. And this big monster, I paid 60 pounds for this Hater. Now, I've done a check on these and they are selling on eBay for around, in this sort of condition, for around 150, 200 pounds. But I mean, I will probably give this a repaint on anyway, this one, but um, the only thing I'm a bit concerned about is the um, the auto drive mechanism at the back there. But failing that, if, if I have to spend any money or repair that, I'll have a look at it first. And failing that, I'll just put it on eBay as a spares or repair. So I'm hoping to get a lot more than what I paid for it. And the final one is this little mount field. Again, in pretty good condition. It uh, hasn't got a grass box with it, but the deck's solid and... I've not, as I say, run it yet, so everything else is there, so that's my little project. I've got loads to do. Here's the rest of uh, my garden, for those of you who don't know, it's in a bit of a mess. I've not had any time to do anything with it. It goes right round, obviously, to here. Uh, and again, that over there, I bought this uh, auction, this old pipe work, because I was hoping to make little sort of things that go over the plants to stop the birds nicking the seeds out when I plant them in the ground, so... 
but yeah like I say still loads of work this part of the garden just totally untouched so um, this is just more of the same of what I've got to do and what I've got to deal with eventually but I can't do it all at once so that's why I'm just starting one step at a time and getting that end down there sorted out because that is where I actually work as well so there we go thanks for watching for this little one as I say we'll be making some more videos over the weekend it's Thursday uh, no it's Friday today so um, obviously the weekend's coming up I think we're going to possibly be working on uh, the mini I've got some work to do in the house as well Sharon wants me to um, do some work inside the house so I've got to do that and possibly uh, finishing off the groundwork over there and also the decking I want to get that all square and clear this area again because as you can probably see here I do have loads of lawnmowers got to be repaired so that's what I'll be doing anyway so stay tuned and I'll see you again in the next video thanks for now see you later